Hello everyone, welcome back to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will go through the concept of continuity of a function. So, as the name suggests, continuity. You are preparing for an exam and you are studying, let's say you study for this four days. Four days, okay? Four days and you don't study for one day, okay? And then again you start and study for two days. This is how is your week. Okay. So it means you are not continuous. You are not continuous towards your study. You take a break. Okay. You take a break of one day in between. Similarly, for a working guys, on weekends you have a break on your works. Right. So you are not continuous. Okay. Similarly, for a function, if a function is defined something like this, that it is, it has some value, but at a particular point, let's say a, a, okay, the value of a is something else. For example, this, and then again, after this point, it has value like this. Okay. So this curve is a function, curve of the function f x, and this is continuous except this point A. So as it is not continuous at this point A, we cannot say this is a continuous function. Okay. It has a break. So what is the continue condition for continuity? To be continuous, a function to be continuous, its limit should exist. Limit should exist and the limit should be equal to the value of this point itself. Let's take a continuous function. So the condition is condition is limit should exist. Okay. And the limit should be equal to f of a. Consider limit at point a I'm talking and it should be equal to f of a. The value at that point. So what will be the curve in this case like this. So if it is the point A, A, if you take the value of F A is particular, let's say this is uh, z, some, some value Z. So the value of this is Z, F A is equal to Z and value of F A minus is, sorry, F A minus is equal to Z and F of a plus that is right hand limit is equal to also z okay so all left hand limit right hand limit and the value at that point itself is equal to is equal okay so then in that case we can say that the limit of this function exists uh, limit of this function exists obviously and this function is continuous okay there is no break this is continuous Similarly, they also have a term that is left continuity and right continuity. Okay. Left continuity. Okay. So, as name suggests, left continuity means for a function, this is the value of this function, let's say, at point A. Okay. And this is continuous like this. From this point to left, it is continuous, but from right, it is like this. Fine. So, it, what I mean to say is f of a minus is equal to f of a, but it is not equal to f of a plus. Now, this is clear? Yes. The function value of this function is equal to the left hand limit. Okay. But the right hand limit is different. So, actually limit doesn't exist. But we can say this function is left continuous. Okay. Similarly, we have right continuous. Right continuity. What is right continuity? It is something like this. So, the function has proper value. It is like this. And so, the value at A and from A it is continuous. Okay. 
when we say left continuous right right continuous very uh, it's very simple when we say left continuous it means from that point towards left it is continuous okay similarly when we say right continuous it means from that point towards right it is continuous so here f of a minus is not equal to f of a but this f of a is equal to f of a plus okay, so this is left continuity fine so a function is continuous if it is left continuous and right continuous okay a function cannot be continuous if some of the continuity which is left or right is not there so if it is continuous left continuity and right continuity will be there okay but a function is if a function is left continuous or right continuous it doesn't mean that the function will be continuous these are the example fine so i hope the continuity is clear from this lecture uh, you should solve the problems in doubt section and uh, uh, we will be posting examples in example section so i hope you are following everything on tectored so you also contribute to the resources and other sections of the topics of your favorite choice this is basically contribution centric community where everyone should collaborate and should form a community to help each other so i hope we are trying to help each other and we are helping you so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching